So, you finally bagged yourself that big buck, got it home, and processed the meat out? We're going to show you what to do next. Thanks for watching. So here we have about a pound of that ground venison we made up. We're going to go ahead and turn it into some venison gravy. So what you're going to need is about a pound of that venison, two tablespoons of your favorite steak sauce, a tablespoon of beef better than bouillon or four beef bouillon cubes, three tablespoons of flour, two cups of milk, and an onion. So since there isn't a whole lot of prep work on this one, I figure I'll actually show you how to deal with an onion. You're going to cut the stem part off first. You save the root and then you cut that in half. That makes the, getting the skin off it a lot easier. You save the root because it gives it something to bind everything else to. Makes chopping it a lot easier. And then you're just going to go all the way up to the root straight down pinch your fingers in and you come in and slice twice across and then you just slice down there we go let's go and fire up our skillet we're using a non-stick skillet today instead of the cast iron because I don't want to add any fat to this recipe. If you add fat to this recipe, it tends to separate out in the gravy. So over medium heat, we're just going to start with our onions. We're going to add our burger. And we're just going to go ahead and divide that burger up into the onions. You want it all fairly evenly mixed. We're going to brown it out over medium heat. There we go, our onions are all mixed in really well. It's simmering over medium heat. We're just gonna put a lid on it. You really want it to have that nice fine blend because it's a gravy, you don't want big chunks in it. We're not looking for meatballs. It's probably only gonna take about five minutes to brown this over medium heat. Let's give it a check, stir it. Oh, it's looking good. We'll probably give it another minute here. Just mix it up, make sure it's all good and cooked thoroughly. Really, we're looking for these onions to be a little bit softer. Break up those meat chunks real good. So yeah, between five and eight minutes over medium heat. Okay, now we're gonna reduce the heat and check on it. Nice low heat. And that's why we add the pork to the burger, because we didn't have to add any fat, no butter, oil to this to get this going. Now that we've got that simmering over low heat, we're gonna add our flour. You want to soak up all the juice from the meat and the onions, all the fat. Basically want to stir it till you don't see any white left. The white part's the part that's going to clump and make your gravy gross. Once that's all mixed in, we're going to go ahead and add our steak sauce and our bouillon. Mix both those in real good before going back and adding our milk. Now we're going to go ahead and slowly stir in our two cups of milk. We're going to get fairly evenly distributed so it gets into that flour. 
mixes with that fat. You really want it to see it start to pick up the steak sauce color. Make sure you're scraping all the flour off the edges. So now that we've got that all mixed in, we're going to turn the heat up just a little bit, bring it to a simmer, not a boil, and let that milk reduce. You're not going to want to cover it because when you're reducing liquid, you don't want to cover it. That holds the liquid in. You get this little bubbling. That's how you know you're at the right heat. And then you just want to keep stirring it till it thickens up and reduces. It's getting that nice brown color to it. And that's the little simmer you're looking for. It's not like it's a rolling boil. If your fat's separating out, it's way too hot. You need to turn your heat down a little bit. You don't want the fat to separate out. You're just trying to thicken it up. Cook off all the moisture. Low and slow is the name of the game. Keep it over low heat. Stir it a lot so you don't burn it. It's truly the secret to all good cooking. Just low and slow. Low heat, slow cook. You'll know it's thick enough. Well, besides knowing the thickness of gravy you like. But when it's having a hard time coming back to the middle when you run your spatula down the middle of the pan, that's where I like my gravy at. Now you've got all this delicious venison gravy. What are you going to do with it? You can always put it on some potatoes. Everyone loves gravy on mashed potatoes. Or my preferred Michigan classic. So you take a few taters, you take a piece of toasted bread, and you plop your gravy on there. This is a classic Michigan meal, shit on a shingle. It's delicious. So we hope you like this video and this recipe. Maybe we introduced you to shit on a shingle. Maybe we introduced you to venison gravy. Whatever, you know, just give that video the thumbs up, click subscribe down there somewhere. Stay tuned for more recipes from MI Adventure Life, Field to Table. Thanks for watching, guys.